Houston, we have a problem. I repeat, Houston, we have a problem. You know, I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I, sometimes I feel like I'm stuck in a sitcom, honey, or a soap opera, better yet, a webisode where I live, but clearly the people here are crazy. Every time I turn around, there's always some type of commotion. There's always some type of catastrophe that's happening in my area, in my neighborhood where I live my complex. So I'm trying to figure out what is going on. If it's not the aspiring porn star that lives beside me, or if it's Miss Chi Chi Banana upstairs with all her three kids, and, all, and her and her man can't stop seeing me having sex at 1.30 a.m. at night, or better yet, if it's not old man clutch to the, to the left of me, I don't know what's going on. Ciao. Let me go ahead and just tell you why I had to do this vlog because I was trying to go to sleep the other night, girl, and I could not get rest. I could not get the beauty sleep that this big body requires, you know? And I, as I lay there in my bed and I tried to close my eyes and pray to God to put me in a restful, peaceful sleep, I could not do it. With praying, it, nothing happened to me because I'm clearly sitting there at night Listening to, I don't need, I don't really need a love infection. I need love and affection. No, boo, I need sleep. Because you're sitting here blasting Rihanna on a Monday night, and clearly no one wants to hear that. I mean, I'm not talking about just, like, blasting it as to where you can hear it next to, like, faintly. I'm clearly, honey, I can hear Rihanna up on the speaker in the recording studio box recording her voice over, her, her voice layover. Because your music is clearly so loud. You're blasting your music through all the whole entire community. Everyone can, hear, everyone can jam to your whole beat, because we all know the song. I mean, it's just really that loud. It, it, it was it was so loud yesterday that I had to get up out of my bed, go on top of my balcony, and say, Could you please turn that music down, sir, please? It's just too loud. So, then we have the aspiring porn star next door. I didn't even know she was a porn star until she poured her whole life out story to me. So, she's in the hallway. I'm in the kitchen cooking up something cute. So, she's in the hallway. It's hard to go around around 11.30. The freaks come out at night. I'm not calling her a freak, but I'm just saying it's a lot of freaks around here that come out at night. But, so I hear all this... <laughs> in front of my door, honey. So, ciao. I go to the front door and she's sitting there looking like somebody's lost lady in the tramp puppy just crying in front of my door, just crying uh, crying in front of my door, like literally laid prostrate, hallelujah, in front of my door. So I'm like, girl, what is going, what is, here I go, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be all right, you're gonna be okay, keep it moving, go through, go through. Child, why are you crying in front of my door, what, what are you, what, what is going on now? So, of course, she didn't break it all into me. She's just sitting there crying, and then she was crying so bad. It was not just a normal cry, but it was a cry as to where it was like a choking cry as to where she was about to, you know, regurgitate or vomit. So, I'm like, clearly something's wrong. Her boyfriend's kind of strange. Anyway, you know, she speaks to me on occasions and stuff like that. You know, she waves, she smiles, she kikis, but her boyfriend is real strange to me. I don't know what he is or what he, what he does, but he's a bony little skinny little scrawny little white guy. Very small, he dresses very grunge, and he just looks very pathetic, you know, and he don't know that I know, but one time I was listening in on their door, <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those people, so I listened in on his door, and they were arguing, girl, so he gonna tell her, I'll go with you, I said, I'll go, I'll go there, and I'll hold your hand with you, if you want me to dress like the rest of these dirty people in this neighborhood, I'll do that too, dirty people, girl, I was real tempted to knock on that door and be like, dirty oh cause clearly it ain't <laughs> but I will not feed into that so upstairs to Miss Chi Chi Banana girl so let me tell you something about her okay her and her husband be having sex 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 honey every time I turn around and it's not just regular sex I guess when they put the kids to sleep they decide to turn into just wild boars honey I mean they just decide to just get nasty and I know she a freak because I know she be having sex with her hot heels on because every time they be in there doing it he's a fast one too like he be like pop 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 he bangs it really really fast and the thing about her is that I I feel that She's one of them come hither kind of females because she likes to have sex in her pumps, honey. And I know that she likes to have sex in her pumps because clearly after they're done for the little intermission, she likes to like chick 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 chick. She like click 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 through her. She likes to run through her apartment, and I believe that he chases her, and they go have sex like in another designated designated area in the apartment, like. 
They're like bunny rabbits, honey. I mean, they make bunny rabbits l sit there and look at them in awe because they're clearly just having sex all throughout the apartments. And I'm like, where are all these kids, girl? The apartments aren't about that big, well, you know. So where are the kids that when y'all are doing all this banging and sexing and screwing? Then, then you got old man Clutch next door. And you know, old man Clutch, he's very quiet, very mysterious. Got that old gray beard, old skinny, frail white man. Looks like if I leave my window unlocked, he's gonna come through the window and try to hatch me. But you know, old man Clutch, he seems to mind his business. He he never speaks. I mean, I see him, I say, what's up? He never says nothing back. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. Maybe he's deaf, who knows? But old man Clutch, he does worry me. But you know, I, I got hands. Or at least I got I got feet to run. But child, let me go ahead and tell you about Roach and Company, honey, because Roach is the loudest one in the in the community, child. So his I don't even know his real name, but I'm just gonna call him Roach because he looks like one. He's like <laughs> unattractive. So Roach and his crackhead friends are always outside in front. Like, okay, there's my balcony. Balcony's here, and there is like downstairs on the ground level, and then there's the street. Him and Roach and his little company, Roach and Company, loves to be out there. And then the thing about Roach is, I don't, the way I don't understand is that. You're right there with your friends. So why is it that I can hear your conversation in my bathroom and you're outside? I'm a grown man. I'm a grown man, man. I'm a grown man. What did he say? I'm a grown man. I'm a grown man. Girl, but take your grown ass into your house and have this conversation inside your apartment. I don't want to hear it, boo. You are so loud. I mean, your loudness is just so abrasive to me. It's just so disturbing. I can't even sit inside of my milk bath because you're so loud. You're, I mean, you're just, you're over my radio. You're over my MP3 player. You're over my iPod. You're just that that loud. And then, you know, when Roach sees me outside, child, I don't know what it is about crackheads, I don't know what it is about homeless men, but child, I am a crackhead's hum 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 we gonna get this right. I am a crackhead's fantasy, honey, and a homeless man dream, because every time I turn around, crackheads love to tell me their story, they love to talk to me, they just love to just, I just, they just feel like they have some connection with me. I'm like, what is going, what, what are these crackheads? Crackhead men be flirting with me like there is no tomorrow. I mean, I don't know what it is about crackhead men, but no, it's not crackhead men. It's homeless men. Girl, I can have any homeless man and any Hispanic car working man I want to have, child. I don't know what it is about them, but homeless men love me. Every time I turn around, hey, 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 you, you, you sexy, you sexy. I know. Anyway, it's just like they love me. But anyway, back to Roach. So whenever he sees me, clearly Roach is like always want to give me some type of dap or I think Roach thinks that he knows me. I don't know Roach from <laughs> from an Adam, honey. So Roach be like, yeah, you seen Dana. Yeah, well, you, you, where Dana at? How you and Dana getting along? So child, you know, I just got to play along with it. Oh yeah, we get along real fine. Mm -hmm. So one day I, I'm moving my furniture around. And Roach, is all, Roach and all his friends are outside. Of course, there's a bunch of older other dudes, too. Swear they strong, but crackheads are real strong. I don't know where that strong comes from. But I'm moving, you know, my, my furniture set in and things. Real nice, set, very cute, very luxurious, very grown woman. I'm moving that in, and um, Roach and things, Roach and company, they want to help the movers. Girl, am I crazy? Do you think I'm a fool? I'm not letting y'all Negroes up in my house so I can rob me or better yet kind of scope out the scene in my place. I don't think so, boo. I, I don't think so, Roach. No, 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 no. So Roach has a sister, right? His sister, child, quack, crackhead Aquafina, honey. So she comes outside. What, bro, what he say to you? What he say? They, they messing with you? No, he fine. He fine. They not messing with me. They all good. They very respectful. Anyway, so she was like, because my son will come out here and handle them. Oh, God, you got a son, girl. You have a son. She is bony. She's very malnutritioned, honey. Like, her face has, like, a big scar on it. Like, somebody just threw a tire hub at her face. It's just like, it's just like somebody just burned the scalp inside of her face. It's very bad. But she's really sweet to me. She's very nice to me. She's very warm and very welcoming. She's just really bad to look at, you know? God forgive me. But it's real. Child, her son came downstairs, child. Woo! And I thought I saw the light. Clearly, you all are a part of the wrong DNA because that cannot be your son. 
baby. When I said that he was sexy, he had all this body. Oh my God, glory to be the heavens, honey. He was sexy. I'm talking about brown skin, LL Cool J, 1998. You're jiggling, baby. Go ahead, sugar. You're jiggling, baby. Go ahead, sugar. Whatever. You're jiggling, baby. But he was just giving me all of LL Cool J. Then he was giving me this whole, like, 50 cent type of sway. I mean, he was just trained. Honey, just the tattoos, the sexy pink lips, the beautiful brown skin, the nice faded season, honey. Oh, it was everything to me, girl. I was like, oh, here comes a new scheme, honey, because clearly I will be on the second floor and give me a month. Uh, better yet, two weeks. Child, he was just, mm, he was fine. Oh, we're going to have to do another story on that one. But my camera is running out of time. She's about to cut me off, so we will be continued. Bye-bye.